Every year, almost 300,000 people in Germany suffer from cardiac infarction. The blockage of coronary vessels means the surrounding heart muscle tissue is not sufficiently supplied with blood and eventually dies. The heart cannot repair the tissue on its own and current medical treatments are unable to restore the heart to its original performance level either. Gunter Buchholz didn't even notice the infarction he suffered over a year ago, but he did notice the consequences of it. He began to have severe difficulty in breathing with only the slightest strain as the heart wasn't pumping at full power. I was no longer able to do anything. I was worn out and tired, lame, and I wasn't the same as I used to be. I kept saying, I used to be ready to tackle anything, but not anymore. <laughs> Professor Gustav Steinhoff, a cardiac surgeon at the University Clinic of Rostock, has been pursuing an innovative approach to the treatment of chronic cardiac insufficiency, which is based on the regenerative ability of the human body. This is possible with the aid of stem cells. These are cells in the body which are capable of regeneration and are able to create new tissue. They are responsible for the lifelong regeneration of endogenous tissue. At the Reference and Translation Center, RTC, for cardiac stem cell therapy in Rostock, scientists from all over the world are researching and investigating stem cell reproduction. They are keen to understand the structure and mechanisms involved and to use them for therapy. Only stem cells can produce new cells continuously as they have the unique ability to split themselves indefinitely and turn into other body cells. They are vital when damaged cells need to be repaired and thus are referred to as magic seeds by many researchers. We are working to look at the mechanism how the stem cell repair the heart, how they contribute to different cell types, and how they turn or differentiate into other cell types, and how they could secrete some growth factors or other factors to nurse uh, the surrounding cells and eventually to regenerate the heart. Indigenous stem cells have been used to treat cardiac infarction at the Rostock University Clinic since as early as 2001. And so the RTC brings basic, associated and clinical research together. At present, three research groups are examining the mode of action and the safety of cardiac stem cell therapy. Professor Steinhoff has also collaborated with experienced doctors from other institutions. The entire venture in Rostock is so exciting because theorists, biochemists, molecular biologists, cell biologists, clinicians, cardiologists and cardiac surgeons are all working together there so that nobody can say no and everybody wants to participate. It's a unique establishment in Germany. It enables us to combine the results of the experimental research with the clinic at the highest level. Here is the operating room of the cardiac centre of the Rostock University Clinic where stem cells for therapy are being prepared at this very moment. What is remarkable is that they come from the bone marrow of the patient whose damaged heart they are to repair. Only indigenous, so-called autologous stem cells are used. The fact that they can be obtained sufficiently and are of a high quality is owed to the close cooperation with Milteni Biotech located in Titero. We are specialists for the separation of cells. We can get cells with specific surfaces out of mixtures. We are able to get the needle out of the haystack, so to speak. Four and a half hours and a lot of preparation is needed to obtain up to five million stem cells, which is about two milliliters of liquid from 150 milliliters of bone marrow. The operation is prepared in the room next door. It is the only therapy which treats the cause of cardiac insufficiency. The prepared stem cells are injected directly into the damaged heart muscle, into the region in which there is just enough blood in order for the tissue to survive, but not enough for it to work. This dormant tissue must be aroused by the stem cells, which will build new blood vessels and veins to supply the damaged heart muscle tissue with new blood in some weeks' time. 
more than 100 heart patients have already been treated in such a way here in Rostock. The operation was just over a year ago, and I've felt great since then. I can't complain. I do still go for checkups, but then I can go home again. This therapy can only be used as standardized therapy for all cardiac infarction patients once extensive studies have proven the quality effectiveness and the harmlessness of cardiac stem cell therapy. It is a lengthy process, one which is being smoothed by the translation experts at the RTC. In the first phases, phases one and two, we deal with the side effects and find the correct dosage, and if there is an effectiveness at all. We have had excellent results here. We have been able to show that the average improvement of the pumping performance of the heart of those patients who have received stem cells was over 10% higher than that of those patients who had only had a bypass. Eventually, EU approval and the eligibility for reimbursement through health insurance institutions should be achieved by the third phase, a clinical study which was started at several cardiac centers in Germany in autumn 2009. The vision is that entire organs can grow again, or complex structures can regenerate. However, we know that this is not easy to achieve. It is the vision for this century. These first steps, which we can realize in the clinic, are the beginning of the path.